switching gears. So let's take a look at some earnings. Mm. Shares of Costco in focus this morning. Stock range bound after earnings yesterday. Missed Wall Street estimates. Uh, the drop uh, fueled by slower than expected sales growth. Small drop in the stock price. As shopper demand for discretionary items weaken. Yahoo Finance's own Brooke De Palma joins us now with the details. Take us through it. That's right. Good morning. While well, same source sales uh, were up about three tenths of a percent compared to Wall Street estimates of up nearly three percent. Now here in the U.S., that number actually dropped about a tenth of a percent versus expectations of up nearly 2.4 percent. Now the key takeaways that impacted those numbers, foot traffic or shopping frequency. The CFO said it quote unquote remains pretty good. It was up about 4.8 percent worldwide and here in the U.S. up about three and a half percent as inflation remains and consumers look for value. They do in fact over index to higher end income consumers. Now you do have to note, though, that those consumers that are shopping while they're going in store, they're actually spending less while we're there. We saw the average ticket down about 4.2 percent across the globe and down three and a half percent here in the U.S. As we hear from other companies like Walmart, like Home Depot, consumers are moving away from discretionary items and towards more packaged food and groceries. We saw that once again, details here in Costco results. And the last thing to note here, e-commerce sales down 10%. Once again, they are moving away from big discretionary items. That was about down 20% in e-commerce sales, but big discretionary items did make up more than half of um, e-commerce sales. In addition to that, it's important to note here that Costco enjoys people coming in store. They do said that they see more of a, a benefit of people coming in store as opposed to buying online. They said that online sales comes at a cost there, but they do plan to grow incrementally as far as e-commerce goes. And they do have delivery partners as of now, like they call the big kahuna partner there, Instacart at Costco. Um, and I was looking at membership fee revenue. Mm -hmm. It did rise about 6.1% yeah. year over year, mm -hmm. but it was it was in line or a slight miss of right. estimates. And we keep looking for them to maybe raise those fees. Right. Well, it's not happening anytime soon yet, Julie. So Wall Street, Main Street certainly keeping an eye on that. And they did once again emphasize that it's not happening anytime soon. Now, they typically do raise it every five years, which would bring us to now. But on the call, UBS analyst Michael Lasser said, wouldn't it make sense to raise your fees right now because your renewal rates have been so high, once again, up 6.1% year over year, and you're providing even more uh, more value in this difficult environment. The CFO, Richard Galanti, said, nice try, Michael. At some point we will, but not now. Take a listen. Our view right now is, is that we've got enough levers out there to, to, to drive business, and uh, we feel that it's incumbent upon us to, to be that you know, that beacon of light to our members in terms of holding them for right now. Uh, it'll be, it's not a matter of a big time, but, uh, you know, we'll let you know as soon as we know.